back. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. You know, I've been feeling great. Um, oh, you know, just was antsy to, to get back out here and uh, be get cleared. So I'm finally cleared and, uh, you know, happy to be back. Last night was a particularly rough game. Like, what did you? What are you seeing from the guys right now? And trying to, as you're all as a group, searching to try and find the right answers here for consistent effort. Uh, I think, yeah, I think a lot of obviously the defense. Uh, the first half was uh, the main takeaway for me. Just uh, uh, we had a team that was, yeah, just a little more organized than us, and uh, you could tell that uh, you know there was a lot of miscommunications and things like that, but. You know, all these things I think come with, uh, I see a lot of talk about intensity and things like that. I don't think guys are not coming in trying not to play, not, not playing hard. I don't think that's the case. I just think, you know, it's uh, just keep building the right habits, you know, and once again, it's hard for me to talk when I'm not out there. I'm not a, I'm not a coach. I'm not a, one of you guys. So just got to be out there and, uh, and, uh, and do my best. How do you, in terms of like, we have talked a lot about earlier this season about being patient and giving it time to come together. How do you balance that with maybe a sense of urgency so that you guys are trying mm -hmm. to click as quickly as possible and and you know not lose games? I mean, we, we need to. Urgency is a, is a big word, and it's a word that I think is really important for us. You know, it's and all of us individually and obviously collectively. But yeah, just come, come, every possession we gotta have urgency defensively and. And uh, you know, and make sure that becomes a habit, because we've seen that doesn't matter who you play. Uh, it's the NBA. You know, people look at the rankings. People look at the nice like NBA. Like you got, you got guys that have something to prove. You have teams that have something to prove. And and if you let them, uh, any night can can be a, a rough night. So just for for us, I think this is the key. Just. Uh, Focus on us, uh, regardless of who we play, regardless of who we guard, and be consistent with the effort and the communication. I think that's if we're able to do that, uh, I mean, we'd be we'd be very good. And, and offensively, I don't think there's. I think uh, there's obviously like spacing and things like that that come. I think with time, and uh, and obviously the the experience of like valuing the board. I think. Uh, you know, being a little less careless with it and stuff like that. But same, I think that comes with, you know, with the time. And uh, if we focus on the defense, uh, we're going to get a lot of easy stuff offensively that will make it easier on us. Do you sense that, you know, some of these communication uh, things that you're talking about, that they're easily correctable and they're not necessarily a part of this team's identity? Like, that you can mm -hmm. fix these issues. Yeah, he's got to, once again, it's... Um, we've done it. We've done it. We just haven't done it consistently yet. So, uh, and it's the hardest thing to do is to do do the things that, that are not cute. That once again, the things that none of your family members are gonna come in and say, "Oh, that was a great box out tonight." You know, <laughs> like all those things like that are gonna make the difference at the end. Uh, the communication, doing the, the toughness. You know, doing these things that winning teams do and that we haven't done yet. Coach was uh, just talking about how this team needs more physicality but also needs certain guys to be tone setters. In, in what way can you bring that? Uh, for me, just just be me, you know, and uh, like I said, all, all the communication thing is true, all that, all that is true, but uh, setting the tone with my intensity, setting the tone with my toughness, with my... Uh, like shot blocking, running the floor, uh, all those things that, you know, I think uh, really take us to a different level as a team. And, uh, you know, that's what it, that's, that's who I am. You know, that, all, all the other stuff, obviously, like, is, is, uh, is important, but being who I am is, is the key. And, uh, and uh, you know, that's what this team needs uh, right now. You've talked about, coaches talked about, like, this switching different types of coverages when you're on versus when you're off and kind of thought it was going to be a challenge coming into the season to or it was going to take time to get there how would you assess how how that shifting back and forth from defensively when you're on the floor versus off how as a team that's kind of going mm -hmm. i mean we would uh before i got COVID, we were top five defensively right so it's seventh now still like the numbers still good so and it's like top five 
with the fear that <laughs> we, I mean, we we like bottom ten. So for me, like it's that means what it means is that we can be top one if we just start building building the right habits, you know. And uh, and uh, I haven't played my best yet. Uh, I think uh, you know uh, we we as a team like got to find that find it and want it every night that it becomes who we are and that. Uh, even when we miss a shot, even when we're not happy what's happening offensively, or even when we're tired, like we're still able to do those little things that becomes more important than anything else, regardless of who is on the court. And of course, when I'm when I'm out there, it's a different coverage than I, when I'm not. But it's the same game, and it's it's all about being aware of what's going on. Just like if I'm guarding a shooting big, it's not going to be the same as if I'm guarding a rolling big. Like it's just about awareness and and us being on the same page and understanding what's going on. Uh, offensively, what do you think has been the biggest adjustment for you as you, as you get acclimated to everybody? I mean, for me, it's just playing with different guys, you know, different ball handlers. Uh, guys have been, you know, uh, have been great looking for me, especially like, especially Cat, you know, he's been, I can tell he's been doing, a, you know, a lot of effort, uh, uh, you know, hitting me on the, on the duckings, hitting me on the lobs. Um, and uh, I think that's the way we will, we, we're going to play. Like, if you want to be a great offensive team, I think, you know, just be able to space for each other, move the ball, um, have the ball not stick, you know, and, um, you know, and those things come comes with time. I mean, it doesn't come overnight. It comes with the work. It comes with time. It comes with being comfortable with, like, getting to know each other. Like, I know that if I set up once again, if I set a ball screen for Dilo, it's not the same as... Uh, for Ant or you know for for Jaden, uh, so those things don't don't come overnight. You know, for some teams it takes years to figure that out. I think for us it's going to be a lot quicker than that. But you know, it's not going to be, it's never going to be perfect. We just got to keep getting better and better, and, and um, yeah, learn how to how to space for each other. You know, whether I'm on the court or not, I think this is really uh, the area where we can really get better. Just uh, uh, do the things without the ball. Like, when I don't have the ball, what can I do for my teammate? Like, can I set a good screen for him? Uh, can I can I cut, cut to the basket? Even if I don't get the ball, like, can I cut and space? Uh, for me, can I run the floor? Like, can I if if Cat gets the rebound, can I run the floor and and space for my teammates and bring like when I run the floor, so they have to pick me up and then he opens up corner three. For it. I'm not gonna get a, an assist. I'm not gonna get a point, but. I make the play, so like those things, I think as a team, is really where our focus needs to be on, and not the obvious thing like who makes the shot, who you know, who's guarding the ball. Like I think it's the the things that are a little more sub subtitle. Outside of the, the COVID, how are you physically? It was obviously a little bit different of a ramp up to the season, having played mm -hmm. EuroBasket and that. How, how are you feeling? Um. I mean, training camp, we, we did a good uh, training staff and the team did a great job, like, managing me a little bit, uh, you know, and uh, when the season started, I was feeling really good, you know, and now I got a few few days of rest, uh, you know, I was feeling good at home, it was frustrating watching the game, not being able to be there, but um, I try to use those days to recharge a little bit, you know, get off my legs, and now I'm just excited to, to be back. Thanks, man. Thanks, Rudy. Thanks, Rudy. I appreciate it.